I too was 16 years old. When I got caught out after curfew by the police, I was walking on from a party. First thing I knew was these blinding lights in my eyes. And then my back was slammed against the wall and I heard these racist police saying, you black Sambo, you ought to be back in Africa. And then they started to beat me. And they beat me. And they beat me to a bloody pulp. And the only reason I think I'm alive today when one of them pulled the gun from his holster and was going to aim it at my head, this old sister come down the street and saw him and she screamed, oh my God, don't kill him. Don't kill him. After they found his body, the lights in our house would flicker and my laptop screen would go white. His spirit is always with me. I get angry, sad, frustrated, scared, shut down. The grief therapist wanted me to rewire my brain, but I want to be met where I'm at. The pain will never go away. I don't want it to go away. I want to use it to advocate for change. Someone took Philip's life, and no one took it seriously. Sometimes I think the lives of black and brown boys don't matter to the police. I'm so blessed. I have all my limbs, but my head is messed up. Sometimes I look in the mirror and I see a monster. But what I'm really seeing is the war. You start out as a good person. You don't go over wanting to kill people. I'm at the call about someone who has a knife and is stabbing people. He's walking down the steps. Drop the knife! Drop the knife! He's coming at us. Time. Stand still. Take out my gun. I put my finger on the trigger. Drop the knife! It falls. Later, everyone is asking, why didn't you fire? I still felt like I had enough time. If you had taken a few more steps, I would have had to. Breathe. 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 Breathe.